Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Um, Vicente Goyanes, um, Teltec Video Research CEO. Um, um, I will try to uh, present you how, um, in, uh, in my opinion, in our opinion, uh, and a standard OpenCast uh, deployment can be improved, adding Gallicaster Pro based capture agent, uh, agents. Uh, Gallicaster Pro is a is a new generation of of capture agents that we used to call smart capture agents. This kind of capture agents, as as we will see very soon, uh, are able to provide a much more complete media package to uh, your OpenCast core. Just. 10 seconds about our company. Teltec is an edtech company born in 2008 uh, at the University of Vigo campus, and we are totally focused on um, OpenCast, uh, Pumukit, and uh, uh, MOOC platforms, uh, and all of that kind of solutions. Uh, again, just a few seconds uh, background about Gallicaster and Gallicaster project mainly for, for newcomers. Gallicaster um, community starts uh, as a community project uh, fostered by Teltec. Um, well, the goals of that project was to develop um, a capture agent uh, based on, on uh, PC parts or on, on general proposed hardware, um, providing a, a specifications and recommendations on how to build the capture agents. Also, uh, we developed the, the software um, based on, on Python and, and just streamer, and uh, we also tried to build a, a community. We achieved some uh, level of succeed um, on that, uh, and as far as we know, uh, Gallicaster capture agents are the most adopted capture agents in, in the OpenCast uh, community. And since uh, last year, since 2000, uh, since 2015, we um, also released this new generation of, of capture agents. So now we have two editions of Gallicaster. The Gallicaster community is still uh, been there. Um, it's, it's, it's still so open, still uh, well, available. And also they are available this uh, commercial version or evolution of, of um, Gallicaster that provides uh, many uh, additional features as we will see very, see, see very soon, like the web control panel, uh, a lot of real-time video processing, uh, streaming, and also real-time QR code uh, recognition. Um, light capture agents versus this new parad paradigm uh, of uh, smart capture agents. Um, the standard or the original uh, OpenCast architecture, we can call it the, uh, that's based on, on light capture agents because capture agents are just recording devices. They provide, as we can see here, media package that's almost empty. It only contains the, the, the very recordings. And then the OpenCast core uh, improves it, enriches it, transcodes it, and, and um, finally it ends with a complete media package that makes possible to provide the multi-stream uh, uh, view experience. Of course, as soon as you, as, as, uh, as we saw in the last presentation, uh, as, as you scale up your core, you need more core servers, you need more processing power uh, in your data center. With this uh, new idea, that with the new paradigm of uh, smart capture agents, capture agents has more processing power and many of the traditional workflows, uh, workflow uh, operations are done inside the capture range, capture range in real time. So the media, media package is almost complete when it uh, arrives to the core. And with just a few operations, you can uh, have the, the provide the, the, the end user experience. And as you scale up, you will not need uh, to scale up your core or just a little because uh, um, adding more capture agents you're adding more processing power to your uh, open cache deployment. So why this architecture? Well, it's, it's, it's a scalability, but it's also um, to simplify the open cache uh, deployment, uh, to um, also 
you will you will lower the cost uh, of of, uh, of buying the, the the whole thing, but also the cost of operation. Just uh, for instance, just just thinking in 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 power expenses. If you run the same um, processing power in your data center, you will have to cool, uh, to spend almost the same power on, on cooling and running, um, well, that processing power at the classroom, you will not need to cool it at all. But to understand better the OpenCast Pro uh, capture agent um, idea or the smart capture agent idea, we can uh, take a look, uh, take a look uh, at, his, at its internal architecture. Just uh, as a reference, this is the, um, the internal architecture of the OpenCast community capture agent. We have a media processing engine, a dual stream media processing engine. We have the cam professor camera and um, frame grabber from the VGA coming inside. Both videos are encoded and then um, a dual stream um, distribution engine um, just throw throws it to, to the drive, and then afterwards it, it will be ingested. If we look at the um, Calicaster Pro Smart Capture Agent, it looks uh, something like this. Basically, it's like three capture agents in one. You have um, media processing one, it's also a dual stream, it's, this is close to, um, to a community um, capture agent, but uh, it, it has also um, dual stream capabilities. You have another one, media processing engine, with dual encoding and um, dual uh, streaming capabilities. And you have a third media processing engine with a mixer, so you can blend together the two um, streams in a side-by-side -side or whatever you want configuration, and a single stream encoding, and then also a um, distribution engine for streaming or drive uh, storage. And you have a, a, a fourth part, this is the um, media enrichment engine. It has, as you can see here, it, it, it's, it's important to, ha it, it has ac access to the raw video before any uh, encoding or whatever. And having access to that raw video, we perform the um, slide change detection, the um, slide capture at very high quality, the QR code recognition, and also the OCR. So running this, as I said, on um, general purpose hardware uh, using current uh, i7 platforms, and this is, uh, I mean, this is um, um, improving uh, as, as I speak. The, the, this kind of platforms are improving every, uh, I don't know, three months or so. With current platforms, we are able to encode two uh, dual stream uh, recordings, also to stream those, um, to stream live those um, encoded versions. We can uh, mix together another high definition version of the recording and also stream it. We are able to, um, to extract, extract the, the slide changes uh, real time, um, the high, high quality encoding um, of, the, of the slides and also the QR code um, recognition. Common configuration of this setup is uh, you can use the first media processing engine to, um, to encode a high quality copy of, of that recording. The second media processing engine used to be um, for the delivery copy, what we call the delivery copy, the copy just ready for uh, internet uh, distribution. The third media processing engine could be um, blending a side-by-side -side version, streaming live, and also um, keeping that version for mobile device uh, distribution, and of course, the slide chain detection and, and so on. So, uh, okay, this looks nice, but what can I do? How, how should I um, configure my OpenCast to, uh, um, how can I say, to take advantage of uh, advantage of all of this uh, of this rich media package? Uh, it's 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 really easy. Just just a change in the workflow um, for the standard cap, uh, media package 
coming from a uh, regular capture agent, you have the standard 27 steps uh, workflow. And um, for the rich uh, media package coming from a smart capture agent, we recommend and provide an ultra fast with fa workflow with just uh, 11 um, steps. But it is not just the, the number of, of operations, is the, the duration of the workflow. Using uh, the nice um, workflow um, uh, auditing tool from, from Harvard, we can see here, this is the same recording, one hour recording of a lecture uh, with the ultra fast workflow. The ultra fast workflow is, is this, um, this here. We have the, the inspect uh, operation here in, in both workflows. The, the, the small one here is the ultra fast and, and this below here is, is the standard one. It took two hour and a half for a standard uh, workflow. And well, here we, in light blue, we have uh, in both work workflows, we have the inspect, in the media inspect operations. And in both, both uh, workflows in, in gray, we have the distribution and archive. But as the media is fully processed, we uh, have, um, we, we can skip all the low quality media preparation, the post stream uh, high quality encoding, and of course the slide detection and the OCR operations. Um, so this is a, an improvement in, in scalability and also in turnaround time for uh, delivering uh, recordings for the students. But also, well, what um, more, more improvements using uh, Gallicaster Pro? Well, it's uh, just adding Gallicaster Pro, you will have uh, live streaming. Live streaming can be controlled uh, from the web uh, interface of the capture agent. But um, recently, for, um, starting in, in the, the new version that is about to be released, um, also using the, the local, the touch uh, interface uh, UI, it will be possible, it's possible to manage recording and streaming um, separately. Also, uh, the web UI of the capture agent gives the um, uh, video trimming and video splitting um, uh, tool. It's possible to trim, it's possible also to, um, to delete pieces in the middle, uh, and it's also possible to split one recording in, in Two. That's typically very um, common when recording um, meetings like this. The AB guys used to record from coffee break to coffee break, and then with this tool, it's very easy to chop the recordings previous to, to ingest. Also, another um, uh, functionality from the real time processing engine developed at the time for, for Manchester. Uh, applying a real um, uh, computer vision algorithm. The system is detecting the empty space in the slides and is uh, in real time adapting the picture in picture. So um, for instance, here is no space. As soon as it, it detects the space, it uh, scales up and down to the, um, the, the picture in picture. Also cure code recognition. We are using it uh, two ways. One. One way is the, 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 the original way. This, uh, for instance, this slide with this QR code will not be recorded, but we are also using it for chapter marking. So um, it, it is easier to chop a recording in, in, in chunks uh, and in, in, in kind of clips of knowledge. So it then will be easy to use those small smaller clips in, in, a, in a MOOC platform or uh, LMS or whatever. Another um, configuration that we can propose you, just uh, using one capture agent, one, one Gallicaster Pro capture agent, this is what we call the proxy ingestor. Imagine you have a standard Gallicaster community configuration where the capture agents are light capture agents, they are providing just uh, s uh, simple media packages to, to an open cast core. Just, you can add one proxy ingestor, one Gallicaster Pro 
and as a proxy ingester. The synchronization between Gallicaster community and Gallicaster Pro is very fast. It can be done at um, at the file system level with just an error sync in the end. And Gallicaster Pro, as, as the Gallicaster Pro will will see the Gallicaster uh, community recordings in its own media. Um, um, how can I say? In, in its media database in its media management uh, engine, and it will start uh, improving those media packages uh, as they were recording by, by itself. And then you can ingest uh, directly to opencast rich media packages. This, this, uh, we are using um, this configuration a lot also for, uh, as, uh, as I will explain later, for um, uh, capture agents that, that are on the move for mobile capture agents for conference recording recordings when uh, again you can be recording uh, offline for a full day then you arrive to the office late you synchronize your portable capture agent with the proxy gesture and then um, another colleague can start uh, splitting the videos adding metadata and, and ingesting um, to the core um, Another interesting configuration is you, you can do that proxy ingest configuration per college and you can provide a kind of, um, how can I say, autonomy or you can delegate uh, the, the, the handling of, of the media of, uh, that are grouped on, on that proxy ingest. And um, conclusions. Uh, in short, we think that uh, this idea of a smart capture agent is, um, uh, is, is the nat natural evolution of the, um, the traditional open cast architecture that was designed more than two years ago. In two years, the general purpose hardware has evolved, evolved a lot and the prices uh, too, refer to the, to the processing power. Um, well, Gallicaster Pro is, is the first implementation. It's a real implementation of this new paradigm of uh, the smart capture agent. And um, just adding one, can, uh, you can improve uh, your OpenCast deployment, so it's very easy to, to test it. This Gallicaster Pro thing, it's available as, as a capture agent, ready to use, well, commercial capture agent but also it's available as a software license for under 400 uh, euros. So it's, again, very easy to, to test the idea. And that's it. Thank you. <laughs> Any questions? Comments, compliance? Um, I have a question about the proxy. Um, how many... Um, Normal uh, recording devices can a proxy support. Uh, you mean uh, if it supports recordings from non-Gallicaster capture agents, or for example, or how many um, um, sources will it process? One proxy. One one proxy will process. I mean, you you will be synchronizing uh, already done recordings, mm -hmm. so. Uh, as soon as he um, detects in its own uh, drive, in its own database, those recordings that are not uh, smart recordings, mm -hmm. he will start processing it one after the other. I mean, one proxy uh, ingest is just one, um, one capture agent, so it will process those recordings in a, in a row somehow. It will uh, require less time that the time the recording, the length of the recording, because it's uh, uh, to be able to do it in real time, it needs less than an hour to enrich one hour of recording. But of course, some of the the rich features of the uh, smart capture agent idea, for instance, having access to the raw video uh, before any encoding, the raw um, presentation video. Um, are not possible because it's already encoded. But well, this, it's a, a, a 
middle idea, of a, an approach uh, that's very easy to, to be done. Of course, you can also do that with other smart tab reagents. You can have Gallicaster Pro feeding a smart uh, Gallicaster Pro proxy ingestor. It's, it's, in fact, this is how we do it for portable uh, recording. Okay, thank you. Um, thank you, so uh, maybe you know what this question is. Um, the the GStreamer upgrade, do you have a, a time frame for that? <laughs> we we are keen, keen, really keen to, to do it. Um, I am happy but because I can't say um, too much details, but I think we will, we're going to have help to do it. It's not critical in our opinion for the uh, pro version, but it will simplify it a lot and it will also improve, for sure it will improve a lot the uh, community version. So um, I'm, uh, I'm positive with that. Like, I can't commit on a, on a date, but I think it will be a matter of months. That sounds good, thanks. I mean, it's it's an issue particularly for people running black magic cards I know. in different configurations. So our Gallicaster, which we have 55 or something with the data path cards are almost 100% reliable, but the ones with black magic cards are sort of 95% reliable, and that's not really good enough longer term. So yeah. we're really looking forward to the upgrade, and we like to help or contribute to get it done as fast as possible. <laughs> Thank you. It, uh, it, yeah, it's an, uh, a big issue with the black magic driver. That, that's the, the, the root of the, of the issue. But uh, yeah, with the improvement to with upgrade to just streamer 1.8, it will, it, as far as we tested, uh, it will be uh, yeah, a big improvement. Um, I have a question about the software license. Do you have to pay um, for every c uh, capture agent or? Do you have to buy one license for um, for one university? I understand you're asking for the pro version. For the community version, uh, is yes. it's the release it under, under a non-commercial version. So if you are an end user, you can use it uh, openly without any fee or whatever. For the pro version, uh, we are selling one uh, license per capture agent. Um, the, li the, license is, the license is physically a small uh, USB dongle, as I showed there. Um, the, the license has a price, uh, it's forever. It's not, uh, you don't have to pay again each year. It's 400 euro, uh, 395 euros, uh, the license, uh, for you forever. And for one year, you have free, uh, r the right to free, up free upgrade to any new version we, re we, we can release, as in fact we are doing several times a year. And after that year, you can pay, uh, I think it's 95 euros, something like that, to keep the right to upgrade to whatever new uh, version. Okay, thank you. Welcome. I have a more technical question. Um, we have seen that you um, run uh, three uh, live encoding processes uh, uh, or dual processes uh, in real time. Uh, do you do it uh, in software or have you used any hardware encoding also? It's, it's software, but we try to use as, as, as much as possible the capabilities of the we, uh, of the general proposed hardware. As you may, may know, uh, current uh, PC motherboards and, and CPUs pack, packed inside um, many hardware uh, functionalities for video handling. Also, uh, well, a full GPU is, is over there. So uh, we try to use it uh, as much as possible, especially we um, we are now exploring, and, and I will present tomorrow, uh, experience with a prototype of uh, an advanced 4K uh, encoding. And 
for that we uh, deeply uh, try, we try to use deeply the hardware uh, capacities of, of those uh, motherboards and, and processors but um, you know the, the, this kind of hardware is evolving so quickly and, and is, is upgrading its power so uh, uh, intensively that many times just waiting six months something that that doesn't fit in in real time without doing nothing it starts to, to just to work uh, with many times without uh, spending more money just getting the, the new motherboard and the new uh, CPU and well, it's, uh, it's it's really amazing No one else? Okay. Thanks.